Now, there is no denying that Labrador puppies are some of the cutest things in all of existence. And it's so exciting when you bring a new Labrador puppy into your home. But then you quickly realise just how infuriating it can be with things like having toilet accidents and how difficult potty training may be, especially if you're a first-time owner. But it absolutely doesn't need to be. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to stop toilet accidents in their track and make sure that you get potty training perfect as quickly as possible. So then guys, let's look at what it is that you can do to ensure that you have the minimal amount of toilet training problems as possible. And let's look at a few different steps that you can take to ensure success. And the first tip I want to give you is nothing more. It's not fancy, it's not complicated. It's just to simply crate train your dogs. If you can manage your dog's environment and manage their space, you will have huge success with toilet training. If you can crate train them successfully in a crate that's the right size for them, that's not too small, but definitely not too big, that they learn is their space, they won't want to have an accident in their space. And then as long as you're being fair and giving them the opportunity to go to the toilet uh, at regular fair intervals for their age, you will be shocked how that alone can be all that you need to guarantee success with potty training. But with that said, we're not going to stop there. We're going to give you two more points to then definitely guarantee that success with your new Labrador puppy. So then the next tip is a habit that I want you to get into, especially when you first bring your new puppy home. And that is to take your dog out for the toilet on the hour, every hour. Set an alarm on your watch, set an alarm on your phone and just get into the habit of on the hour, every hour, taking your puppy out where you want them to be able to go to the toilet. And then when they go to the toilet in the right place, you praise and reward that behavior and make it abundantly clear to them that that's a great place. And by pairing, managing their environment and the best way to manage their environment is through crate training with then regular intervals and on the hour every hour is something that's easy to remember and build into a habit especially in those first couple of weeks again that alone should be enough to allow you to have massive amounts of success but again we're not going to stop there I'm going to give you a third tip so then let's look at that third tip but these two have been incredible and definitely deserve a reward go on go and have fun so the third tip is around supervision. It really is simple. Puppies are babies and they should not be trusted to be alone. And you should manage their environment 100% of the time for a long time until they can be trusted to have free roam of your home. So if you cannot be there and uh, observing the dog, then the dog should be in the crate. On the hour, every hour, the dog should be going out. Now, if you are there, you should have 100% supervision on the puppy. If you can't guarantee that, it's time take them out for a toilet opportunity and then pop them in their crate but you always need to be supervising them yes on the hour every hour is incredibly powerful yes crate training is incredibly powerful but there are going to be some times where you're going to miss out on opportunities to take your dog when they need to go however if you're watching you won't miss those opportunities because your dog will let you know when they need to go to the toilet the question is are you supervising them adequately to therefore pick up on those signs. If you are, you will spot them sniffing in certain areas. You will spot them going towards the door where you usually take them out. You will spot them starting to circle with their nose pinned to the floor. There are many, many different signs that may mean your dog needs to go to the toilet. But if you're supervising them, you will pick up on those signs. And when you see one of those signs, you can be ready to act, get up, pick them up, take them outside where you want them to go. When they go in the right place, we praise, we reinforce. If we can't supervise them, we make sure we give them an opportunity to go to the toilet first. Then they go into their crate where they're not going to want to have an accident because that's their safe, happy place. Then on the hour, every hour, and I guarantee you, if you stick to that religiously with discipline and hard work, you'll get there. You will absolutely be able to have a impeccably toilet trained Labrador far quicker than you would have ever dreamed possible.